Mm, we just wait for the video to stop shaking because uh, my video setup is quite shaky. It's literally just a smartphone hanging on strings. <laughs> but it will do. Uh, it did before because actually um, <laughs> I I'd already did this video, but um, I had uh, forgot to changed uh, changed the video settings uh, so my camera recorded it all as a time lapse uh, maybe you, you already saw that time lapse in the beginning of the video because where else should i be put a, putting this yeah the thing is i was rambling on about the eashin e uh, v 200d for like 20 25 minutes uh, while disassembling it completely um here we have the parts like you can see here, uh, the main board and stuff placed like this, or to be corrector, more placed like this. Then we have the LCD driver board. We have our module, in this case, a rapid, fi rapid fire up here, some fan, and the LCDs. Um, the problem is um, with these glasses. I bought them uh, cheap uh, on the internet, used, and the guy said the left eyepiece had a problem. It would flicker or completely go out. Uh, he said it's only on cold days, but I found out it's not only on cold days, it's like always. It doesn't even turn on for me. Um, so I tried to find out where could be uh, the problem. At first, um, I tried to connect the this lcd to the outputs of uh, of the other side from the lcd driver board because the lcd driver board uh, gets its signal from the main board and the main board gets it from the rapid fire um, and uh, i was thinking yeah maybe maybe i just connect it to the other side because the connectors on both sides are identical and i tried it on the other path for the right side of the goggles and the module worked so the module wasn't the problem we can put this aside this works next thing uh, i was thinking hmm, could it be the main board but if it would be the main board why should i see even anything because uh, i didn't was I, I wasn't using a 2d function or something that means there is only one uh, video going from the main board to the driver board so i was thinking okay main board should be working we can put this aside too and also we can put a span beside the only thing remaining was this board the driver board for the two lcds it has only one chip on it it is a rdc 100 and it's the chip made by the manufacturer of the uh of the lcds which is a raiden tech and the modules are actually the rdp 502H in the 1822 version. You can see this on this side, and I checked on the website. Um, it, it those are the modules, and they have a, dri a, a driver chip, which is this one. And my guess was, hmm, maybe I check under a microscope if all the soldering is done correctly. Maybe it's just a bad soldering somewhere. And it checked under 200 uh, x magnif magnification, and all the soldering looked good. At least the parts of it which I could see. The, the only part of the soldering here is the part I, uh, I, I can't see is the part under the under the BGA. Um, for you guys who don't know what a BGA is, it's basically a chip with the pins not on the side but with pads under the chip and you have little soldering balls which connect the pads from the chip with the pads on the PCB and with temperature stress the board can stretch and some of the soldering balls can become loose and that's my guess what's happened here so I tried hmm I heard about maybe uh, with other chips like uh, graphic cards uh, with big BGAs had sometimes the same problem and I actually worked sometimes back in manufacturing of PCBs a little bit and 
we also back there had these problems that not all the balls were connecting to the PVC. And one fix for this is just taking this uh, thing, uh, desolder the fan, um, and then just put it in the oven for li uh, with like 150 um, degrees, uh, European degrees, not American degrees, and let it there for like 20 minutes. You have to remove the fan before because the fan has magnets inside and if you put the fan in the oven, the magnets will lose their magnetic force. So we have to desolder this. And I actually tried this. I put it in the oven um, and after 20 minutes I let it cool down, tried it out and everything worked fine again. So I guess, uh, yeah, that was a fix but um, then, I tr then I let the goggles on for like 55 minutes and everything still was fine until I, uh, I uh, loaded up all up my batteries uh, for <laughs> for the drone and went out flying and it's quite cold uh, out here already and like seven degrees maybe and yeah I, I was flying like one pack and at the second pack it happened the eyepiece started uh, flickering again a bit um, but at this time not the whole, whole eyepiece was flickering the only thing I noticed was the backlight the backlight was flickering so my guess then was hmm the video is working the BGR must be on soldering must be on correctly um, because I was guessing that the background uh, illumination of the LCD wasn't working from inside the chips but with the, those driver components on this side um, I'm not really sure about it because I tried to find the data sheet of this ship but uh, you can only find the data sheet for the next generation of this chip the RDC 200 but not the old one uh, if you find it please write me a comment would be nice um, my guess now is that there's something a uh, problem uh, with the connection of the cable to this uh, inside or maybe a problem with the voltage uh, circuit for the background illumination on the left side. Um, I'm not really sure how to fix this because uh, I would now try just checking all the voltages on the right side and trying to find the same points on the left side trying to find what voltage isn't there but I've run into problems with this because if the left side doesn't detect a display it won't put out voltage at all so I can't really compare both sides um, yeah, but my, my idea were where I, I would uh, take a heat source uh, since any heat source since I don't have a, a hot air uh, iron um, a hot air soldering iron I would just warm up some parts of the PVC and then look what heating what part of it made it work again um, so I could find out where the bad solder joint maybe is if there is a bad solder joint besides the maybe bad solder point beneath the BGA and um, I guess I keep you updated um, now I'm gonna uh, input a, a quick uh, <laughs> assembly video I guess uh, but first I'm gonna put this thing in the oven again this time I'm gonna try out 205 degrees for like 10 to 15 minutes and hope that that will fix it for like 45 minutes maybe again or maybe just inside where it's warm. Um, <laughs> another fix could be just placing a heat element next to the board so it stays warm outside. Um, but I'm not a fan of this workaround. I would like to get this one working again. Uh, also, I tried uh, emailing I uh, the customer service of Ishin, and Ishin isn't very known for good customer service, and 
they didn't send me an email back now. I, I asked for a replacement board. I would pay it and everything uh, because this board can't be that expensive. There is basically nothing expensive on here, not, not even the chip. And But I have a guess that they don't even stock replacement parts. So I have quite slim hopes of getting a replacement board for this because I think getting a replacement board would fix the entire issue. But if I don't get one, we have to see and we have to repair this. And I'm gonna put it in the oven and after that, I'm gonna show you a video how to uh, assemble uh, the glasses again. Um, maybe it will be a time lapse again because you know, you don't want to look the whole thing. I, I guess there's another video how you disassembly those and it's not really that difficult. You just uh, place those here, the board you place in there and yeah, then you put down a, pulse, a, 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 a few screws you put out before. Yeah, don't, don't forget to resolder the fan. Then you just grab the main board, connect uh, the uh, the ribbon cable, be careful with those because those fucking ribbon cables like to break. Um, Expectorly, uh, uh, this this tiny ones here, um, and then just put it on, screw it down, close it up, and and you're done. Uh, disassembling and assembling this, those goggles isn't a huge deal uh, because I guess I made a time lapse for the disassembly. I can do a time lapse for reassembly. Yeah. But I, <laughs> I think that this is maybe maybe not even the last time I will disassembly those. Maybe you get a full disassembly video. But I think somebody else already did this. Yeah. So uh, that's it. I'm gonna put it in the oven and see you soon. So here we are again. Um, we baked this the PVC good. Uh, 15 minutes on 200 degrees again European degrees not American degrees um, and now we're gonna uh, assemble it into the goggles again and hope that it still works or works again or works even better than before we will see um, so we start out with this and we're gonna put the bottom of the casing down then we take this and we need the main board. Main board turned like this. Yeah. Um, but before we can put it all together, we have to resolder the fan. Let me just quickly resolder it. Again, you have to check that the polarity is right. Um, not connecting the fan in reverse because that wouldn't be good. You can see on the pads we desoldered before um, that uh, we, we need a little bit new solder because in the oven there was a bit of corrosion on the open solder places I guess. Um, so we need to add a little bit of solder, but it also shows that the oven was hot enough to at least melt the solder on the PCB, which is good, which means maybe it, it uh, liquefied the soldering bolts under the BGA and maybe they're all on exactly now we will see this is on and now the positive one and it's on. Could be nicer, but it will do. So 
next step is we're gonna reconnect the main uh, ribbon cable which is this one and we're gonna put it inside this latch or I think it's called a latch but I'm not sure well the the snappy connector thing for ribbons cable so I hope you can see that but if not you know what I mean just put it gently in there then clamp it down or clamp it down Good. So the ribbon cable is in again. Just push a little bit on here because there is a double sided tape under it. So it sits on there nice and tight again. Um, now we're gonna uh, put the ribbon cables of this again inside, which is a little bit uh, how do you call it flimsy you would say in Germany because the the ribbon cables are very uh, very very fine and we don't want to break them so we push out the tabs to connect the cables and then yeah, we do it like this. We just take the ribbon cable and try to get it in there like this. Oh, come on. I hate those ribbon cables so much because if you break one of these, the whole thing is broken because um, the other side of the, those ribbon cables are soldered directly onto the LCD module. And if you break one of those ribbon cables, you can buy another module because you cannot fix those ribbon cables. At least I can't. If you can tell me how to fix one of those, just uh, write it in the comments. But yeah, fucking ribbon cables. So let's make it a good fit so it sits in the middle and clump it down. Same thing we do on the other side. We just put the ribbon cable in there with the tab up. And when the ribbon cable is fully in there, we clump the tab down like this so it sits tight until it clicks a little bit yes. but now we see the one ribbon cable is deeper inside than the other which makes me guess that or left sand left side ribbon cable isn't all the way in so we unpress the tab and we push it a little bit more in and clamp it down again now they're uh, quite right in there now we take the last ribbon cable this is the one for the backlight of the LCD and put it in there yeah. Uh, did I mention that I hate ribbon cables and ribbon cable connectors? Because you can't fix those fucking flimsy pieces of shit if they break. So, all the ribbon cables are in. Now we take the bottom plate again and um, we just drop it in. At first, uh, modules and then we have to fit in the plate which is 
really flimsy with all the ribbon cables on it. And down there are some little slot in the plastic for the PCB to fit in. And if it is inside, we can now push the fan back in. Uh, you have to push the fan in so that's the, that the outlet of the fan is to the downside. So, I hope you can kind of see it. So, now this is in. Now we can flip this over. Look at all the cables. Um, take a look if the ribbon cables are still in and aren't bent. Looks like it. Um, just give it a little push there. In this ribbon cable we already have a band, uh, but it still seems to work. Just don't bend those ribbon cables too much. Uh, now we can put in a few of the screws. At first we take one of the silver screws. There are four silver screws, all the same length. And we put it up inside here. And then uh, we just... Ah, no, 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 no. We have a problem. It isn't centered. Now... Now it should be in center. And we can screw it down. So now we're gonna check if the uh, LCDs move and we see, no they don't. So they aren't uh, fit in there perfectly. So we have to unscrew a little bit at least because you have to check if the, the slider for the LCD mounts work because if you don't try this while assembling and you notice after then it's too late to fix and you have to open it up again. Now we can check. Yes, it slides. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one slides too. So, another try. We screw it again. So, and now we have two annoying screws, again the silver ones, but for the next step you're gonna need a magnet or something, because else you don't get, or gonna get the screws in there. I just use a little magnet on the screwdriver here, uh, because the screwdriver isn't magnetic. If you have a magnetic screwdriver I guess you don't need that. So that uh, screw holds onto the driver. I guess and then you push it down there you remove the magnet screw it in like this and then you do the same thing for the other screw if you at this step lose the screws inside you're gonna have to get it out again uh, which can be quite annoying did this a few times. <laughs> so the board fits, the screws are in. Um, now the next step we're gonna take those. What are those? Uh, <laughs> those are uh, holders or for the LCD. You just put them on top here and here another one. Now um, did I miss to put a screw somewhere? I'm not sure. Ah, yeah. One screw uh, still is missing. We need to replace, uh, not replace or place back in this little part, which holds down the LCD board in place. So we flip this over, put this little piece here and it holds the, piece, uh, the, the LCD PCB and the fan. Screw it down again. Not sure if you can hear me rumbling right now or if I actually make this uh, time lapse. Maybe it's better as a time lapse, but 
I'm not sure how well you can see the steps in the time lapse. Um, hope I, I'm still connected to the van right there. Looks good. So next step is we can slide in the side pieces. The side pieces have uh, little rails where they have to go and you just put them there and here into the rails and slide them down. Um, the left side doesn't slide down as good so you can put a little screwdriver onto one of the edges and push it down a little bit so it sits firmly. On this side uh, there's also uh, pin headers you have to connect, not only the ribbon cables for the power module. And then we look. Nah, it didn't work uh, quite well yet because it's not all the way in. You can see it uh, here is supposed to be a switch and it doesn't show yet. So we have to push it a little bit more in. Again, you have to be quite careful at this step to don't break ribbon cables or such. So looks like it maybe is in and again it's not all the way in that's not perfect now it's in we check again you can see now we have here a switch so it's all the way in now we can take the four black screws the black short screws screw them in again and again And last two ones. So yeah, this one is worn out. It doesn't doesn't grip anymore. Um, at this point, we could try to um, start the goggles. But the problem is the goggles won't even boot up if we don't connect the fan. So we have to connect the fan at this point uh, to just test if the goggles work at all. The problem with this is, um, uh, again, little, uh, little crappy cabling over here. We have to take a little bit more of this so we can have actually some copper to solder on. So let me finalize it a little bit. Where is it there? Because we have some a little bit too long here. Zack. And zack. Now we just add a little bit solder. Remember when soldering, just be sure put those on because solder in your eyes is bad for your eyes and sometimes you're not sure if one of those cables flings up and flings some of the solder directly into your eye it's not like something like this ever happened to me before or something like this because i'm always careful you know and i'm always wearing those goggles um yeah i i, I actually had Little bit, a bit, little bit of solo once in my eye, and can tell you it's not pleasant. It's really not pleasant. Also, uh, if you use soldering with lead, I, I think it's even worse when you get uh, solder in your eye. So try to avoid it. Um, now we're gonna. Uh, the cables are a little bit short, but I think we will make it fit. positive side is on. Now the negative one and it's on. So now we can put this again up here. Look at everything fits. No, here we have to push it a little bit in so we don't compress the cables. Now we can snap it 
back into place. Always, always scares me if I snap it because I think maybe I break the plastics. But in this case it has to sound like this, I guess. Now we can put back the last two screws, which are the ones here and here. And screw them down. But actually at this point we could test the goggles. I hope there isn't too much background noise because uh, I guess one of the fans of my PC is spinning a little bit. And yeah, at this point uh, we take out the battery. Ah, oh, I, I have it already here. And we hope really hard that shit's working again. And we wait and wait and nothing's happening. We still wait and wait and wait and again nothing at all. That isn't a good sign. I guess uh, baking the PCB at uh, 200 degrees was a little bit too high. <laughs> um, so only bake them at 150 because 200 seems to kill them completely. Um, I think I will open it up, check if all connections are done correctly and try again. But I think we may actually kill the thing completely, which isn't that nice. You can hear it still beeps, the main board is still functioning, but we have no light at all at the uh, LCDs, which is a little bit of disappointing, but I guess that's happened when you show how to fix something and want to make a video and it horribly goes wrong. So don't bake your PB PCB too high. 150 works, I tried it, but 200 seems to kill it. Um, yeah, that's basically all. I hope you enjoyed or not. If not, uh, let me know. If you enjoyed it, let me know also. And if anyone knows or still has a non-functioning of this around... Ah, no, 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 no! Um, I'm not sure, but both screens seem to work. But, oh yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. If I look into it, we see both screens are actually working, but the left eyepiece is a little bit darker than the right eyepiece. But that would I would think that's a problem with the backlighting. And if it's a problem with the backlight, uh, then we can actually check the circuits from from who make the voltage for the backlight uh, or the backlighting cable. Um, if it's there a problem, but uh, if it was the BGA chip, then it's fixed, I guess. And even though it, oh no, 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 it seems to be also uh, the right light again. So I guess <laughs> uh, it's it's working again. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure for how long. Um, but we will test it out. I will put the glasses uh, outside. It's like uh, right now it's late in the night and I guess it's like five degrees outside and I will, will put the, the goggles and the battery outside and see if it runs. But at first we're gonna do a check if we also not just get snow screen but if we get video screen for this I will mount the rapid fire and maybe a little bit more so it's complete again. I also noticed that those goggles get kind of hot. I mean there is two fans inside and it's still uh, if you let it on for like 55 minutes at room temperature it the whole glasses gets hot. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is normal or not, but at least it should heat itself in the winter, I guess. 
um, which we saw it also sadly doesn't do. Because if I try it outside in the cold, I would bet that it will um, fail on me again. But we will test this. Ah, no, 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 I forgot something. Ah, we're, we're still in the disassembly, uh, in the assembly part of the whole thing. We have to put this little piece of plastic here again. That's just for the optics, I guess. Um, and then mount it. The sad thing is that all that this goggles should have quad diversity. I have the old diversity modules here and I have another one of this. They are exactly the same. And sadly they only work with this goggles. You, you can't put them in a, in a other um, module bay and they don't work there. Also you can only mount one diversity third party module on the left side, but you can't also mount one on the right side, which would be cool if you, if you would have quad diversity with two rapid fires, I, I would guess that would be really nice. But um, it doesn't work sadly. It, uh, with third party modules only the left side works. Um, yeah, now we can mount the faceplate for this. We just put it here, find the place where the nose goes in and pull apart the other side and put it in like on this side again, pull it apart. Now come on. Nah. Oh. Again, with this plastics, I'm always afraid I break something, but it didn't break, it worked. Now we can uh, add the strap again, but uh, <laughs> I should have mounted the, the strap before I put all the stuff in because now I have to um, Ah, screw the scrap, we don't need it. So, now we have the diversity model module and we're gonna put an uh, antenna on it at this close distance because we're gonna test this with this tiny whoop. We won't need an antenna because it should be able to pick it up anyway, but why not just screw one on there. So like this, yes, then we turn on the goggles, then we turn on the tiny whoop, tiny whoop, like this, so we have a, uh, a video signal, and if I remember correctly, we should be at race band 4, it's now at race band 7, I'm uh, 6, I'm gonna change that real quick, and we see race band 4. Now we're in and we wait a bit and see if we actually get a video because the rapid fire needs... Ah yeah, we have a video, we have a picture. Um, mm -hmm. If you can look through this, I hope... I'm not sure how well you can see this. Um, maybe it works like this because... Uh, you, it, well, at, you know... It, it works, but you can't see it because the focus isn't really working, but I can move the drone and you see the picture moving and both eyes pieces are working again. Uh, the last time the left one was just black. Now it at least works a little bit, uh, not a little bit, it, it, it works until it fails again. We, we will see with the, with the cold test. And now I'm gonna put these glasses outside and let them running and um, we will see how long they run until they um, start to fail again. 